This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning to our family and friends worshiping with us in person, on Facebook Live, and on our official YouTube channel. We bring you greetings from the Bethel Community Church right here in the beautiful city of Fairfield, California. Our pastor is Anthony Gilmore. For those of you who would like to send cards, prayer requests, or words of encouragement, our mailing address is 600 East Tabor Avenue, Fairfield, California, 94533. If you would like to send donations, you can use Givelify, Venmo, or the Cash App. We want to thank you for worshiping with us each week and supporting this ministry. We are here to bring you hope, peace, and joy. We are glad you are here in the building and at home watching, and we praise God for technology. So let's all praise him for all he's done and worship him for who he is. I fall. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, bless the Lord on today. The Lord is good. He allowed you to enter once again into his house of worship. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. The Lord is good. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. Bless the Lord with me all today. Magnify the Lord. No matter what trials may come or trials may go, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord at all times. Hallelujah, Blake. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. Oh, we thank you, God. The Lord didn't have to allow us to enter into his house of worship, but he saw fit to allow you to walk in here on your own fruition. That is enough to praise him right there. Thank you, God. We just thank you, God. We praise you. We uplift. We glorify your name, oh God. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh, we just come humbly before your throne, oh God. We lift you up, oh God. We magnify your name. For truly you are worthy to be praised. We thank you, Lord, for enabling us. For you let sit your darling son, Jesus, to hang out on Calvary's cross. He died for our sins so that we may have the right to the tree of life. And for that, we are truly grateful. Thank you, God. We thank you. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. Have your way in this place, oh God. We lift you up, oh God. Have your way. Bless the service, God. Bless the pastor as he preach your uncompromising doctrine, oh God. Hiding down within the treasures of thy bosom, oh God. Let us see you and not him, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless each and every home represented in here today, oh God. And we pray for our bereaved families everywhere, oh God. Those in my family, oh God, keep them safe and in the comfort of thy bosom, oh God. We pray for the sick and shut in, oh God. Let have your way, God. We pray for healing in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done today, God. And we give you all the glory. All the honor and all the praise for you rightly deserve it all. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. On behalf of my pastor, the Reverend A.L. Gilmore and First Lady Gilmore and the entire BCC family, we want to say to our visitors, whether you're watching or you're in the building, we're so glad that you stopped by here on your way to heaven. Well, the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. In the name of our Father, in the name of his Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, you are welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless each and every one of you. of the Lord. 
sound like you came to have church today. The Lord is, is good. And he is great. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Oh, I was glad. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me.
was glad when they said unto me. How many are glad this morning that the Lord woke you up and he clothed you in your right mind? That your bed wasn't your cooling board? And that you came with a mind to praise him. Is that right? Yes. We came to worship the Lord, Thank you, Lord. and praise his holy name. We came to worship the Lord, Thank you, Lord and praise his holy name. Is that right? Come on, you can clap with us. Praise 
here for worship today come on are you here to worship worship the Lord in spirit and in truth he inhabits the praises of his people I don't know what you came to do but we came to worship amen we are here to lift him up amen very pleasant good morning to all of you. Very pleasant good morning to all of you. Praise God today for another expression of his love. Another Sunday morning. The Lord has blessed us and kept us, allowed us another chance. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be back in the house of worship one more time. God is truly good, and that is more than a cliche. If you don't believe that, talk to somebody who wants to be here and can't be here. How good the Lord really is. Give it up for all of our guests today who are with us. We praise God that you are with us today. All of our guests, thank God that you are in our midst today. We pray that you have what we call a five-star church experience. Amen. So good to see Mother Foster back today. Good to see you, Mother Foster. Good to see Sister Eddie Jones back today. God bless you and Sister Regina. Good to see my mom, Sister Mary Smith here and others. Sister Leah is here today. Sister Leah Johnson is here today. That's why the music sound like that today. Amen. <laughs> That's an insider, amen. Happy birthday, Tasha Lewis. Say amen for Sister Tasha. Happy birthday. Happy 40th birthday, Tasha. God bless you. Good to see you and others today. Thank God for you, Brother Jack Smith. Good to see you. We are going to pause right here for our offertory period. We will, everyone will have an opportunity to worship by way of your giving, amen. I want to thank those of you that make it your business to drop off your tithes and your offerings during the week. Some of you, when you can't be here, you're not sure you're going to be here. I appreciate you all and your ongoing support. Amen. Can't say enough about Sister Clara Funches, who always makes sure she says she ain't going to be here on Sunday, and she brings it on Saturday and still shows up on Sunday. That's faithful, and I appreciate her and others who are so uh, continuously supporting. Thank God for all of you who support this ministry. Amen. I never take your giving for granted. I believe that it takes all of us to do ministry. Amen. Never ask you to do something I don't do myself. And you know 
the scripture says, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you windows of heaven and pour you out blessings, there shall not be room enough to receive. And so we're going to give today. I, I know that I believe the scripture. I don't believe in black cats and broke mirrors and rabbit feet. But I do believe the word of God. The more you give, he promises to give it back to you, pressed down, shaken together, and he even allows it to run over. And so we're going to bow our heads in a word of prayer, and then we will bring our gifts. We are continuously praying for Sister Regina Mixon, who had a successful kidney transplant. Amen. I know that she's watching today, praying for you. Sister Regina, we're praying for Dr. Hudson, who is still under the weather, amen, and others who have asked us to remember them in prayer, amen. I always say, next time might be our time, amen. So we want to always continuously remember those who are unable to be here, amen. Thank God for social media and the opportunity to watch virtually. Let's bow our heads. Eternal God, our Father, we come now with thanksgiving in our hearts. Thank you for another worship opportunity. Thank you for this opportunity to give. Thank you for resources. Thank you for blessing us with resources to give back to the kingdom. Lord, we pray now that you would bless our gifts. Remember that person that wants to give and doesn't have. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask those of you in these two side sections if you would stand and face the walls and come around from the rear. Let me say thank you to our church family for joining us on last Sunday at the 3 o'clock anniversary services of Greater St. John. Thank you, church family, for going uh, in a big way. Thank you for your support. Amen. Amen. You can see Reverend Evans today. He has to leave early, but he is here. He, some of you are giving using the Givelify cash app or venmo just use the on your smartphones Birthday Kamari. Happy birthday, Kamari. God bless you, young man. <laughs> Those of you in the middle section, if you would stand, face my left, your right, come around from the rear, please. Sister Natalie, see me before you go, real quick.
Jaheem, Jaheem, today more than ever. We had two requests today. That's why Malia got up. Maybe we can get them both in. <laughs> but um, you just never know. Is that right? How many agree that Hallelujah. God is calling us home one by one? And many are laying down. And even we might lay down and not wake up. Is that right? Come on. So we want to be mindful of one another. We want to. We want to learn how to love a little more and Amen. give a little Amen. more and not be so selfish about what we have and who we are because no man knows the day. I said no man knows the day nor the hour. Come on, Jaheen. Come on, Jaheen. When the Lord shall come again. You've been so good. Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. Yeah. I owe you my life. Yeah. Can't praise you enough. Even 
Even if I tried, cause you've been so good. You've been so good. Come on, time today. You've been so good to me. Oh! 
better to us than to ourselves. 
How good the Lord really is. How good the Lord really is. How good the Lord is. Eternal God, our Father, we come now with thanksgiving in our hearts. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And we pause to say, to say thank you. Uh, when we were sick, you healed us. When our backs were against the wall, you brought us out. Thank you, Lord. Cancer, thank you. You've been good to us. Uh, when our money was funny and our change was strange, you made a way. Could have been us sleeping outdoors, living in the streets, but you made a way for us. We say much obliged. Uh, Lord, the time has come for us to look at your word. and Lord, your word is so big and I'm so little. Your word is so powerful and I'm so weak. Pray that you would hide us behind the cross. Think with my mind. Speak with my mouth. Lord, don't let me say the wrong words. Bless this waiting congregation. Bless those who are watching virtually today. You know what our needs are today. Supply our needs like only you can, according to your riches and glory. Bless us now in Jesus' name. Forgive us of all of our sins. Sins of omission, sins of commission. Blot out our transgressions. Create within us a clean heart. Renew within us the right spirit. Look on us now in Jesus' name. Church, say amen. amen. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind. This morning with my mind Stay. I woke up this morning with my mind Stay. Yes, I woke up this morning with my mind Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah I woke up this morning my mind. Yes, on Jesus. Yes, I woke up this morning with my mind. Stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind. Had my mind. Yes, I did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil can't harm you. The devil can't harm you. Keep your mind. No, 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 no. The devil can't harm you with your mind. Oh, the devil can't harm you. Keep your mind. Lean on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My grandma would say, I'm walking and talking. I'm walking and talking with my with my mind. Yes, I'm walking and talking with my mind. Got my mind. I'm walking and talking with my mind. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah. Up this morning with my mind. Yes, I with my mind. I woke up this morning with my mind. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
Hallelujah. 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 Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. How good the Lord is. How good the Lord really is. Uh, old church would say, I woke up this morning with my mind on Jesus. I don't know how you feel about it, but it's good to be at church today. Give it up for our choir today. Come on, give it up for our musicians, our band. Amen. Hallelujah. How good the Lord really is. I was telling Brother Calvin this morning that, in my opinion, our choir and our band, even on their worst day, is better than the rest. Now, that's my opinion. <laughs> on the worst day you don't believe me just get on social media and go to some of our brothers and sister churches and watch their live videos on our worst day I ain't mad at nobody amen amen I'm grateful for, the, for what the Lord is doing at Bethel amen I dare not compare us to nobody else I'm just grateful for what the Lord does here amen Turning your thoughts today, briefly, book of James. James is in the New Testament, if you would stand for the reading of God's Word. Good to see you, Sister Susie Cole. James is right after the book of Hebrews. James, we're going to look at chapter number 2. James chapter 2. James chapter 2. Are you there? I would that somebody would read for me, please, verse 4. 16 and 17, and then somebody read verse 26. 16, 17, and then 26. Bless you. Bless you. Verse 26, thank you. Bless you. Thank y'all for reading. What a use for our subject this morning, if it pleases our Christ. Verbal faith is not enough. Verbal faith is not enough. Faith. The Donnie without works cannot be called faith. You missed it. I said faith without works cannot be called faith. Chanel, the Bible says faith without work is dead. Are y'all in here? <laughs> and a dead faith is worse than no faith. Y'all ain't saying nothing. A dead faith is worth, worse than no no faith at all. Faith must work, y'all. Faith must work. It, 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 faith must produce. I wish y'all could hear me today. Uh, 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 faith, Sister Evans, must be visible. Are y'all in here? Faith must be visible. Verbal faith is not enough. Uh, 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 mental faith is insufficient. Y'all ain't with me. Yeah, yeah. Mental faith. Fa faith must be there, but, but it must be more. Y'all ain't with me. Uh, faith must, brother, will inspire some action. Y'all ain't saying nothing. No work, no faith. No faith, no work. So don't miss the point today. Uh, verbal faith is not enough. Uh, 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 brother Mixon, uh, 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 it's amazing to me how we trivialize and we try to bring the scriptures down to our level. It's amazing to me 
how, uh, Sister Natalie, we, we try to make it uh, what we want it to be. We want it to say what we want it to say. There are people, uh, 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 <laughs> there are people, Brother Bolden, uh, who spend every waking hour searching for scriptural loopholes. Y'all don't like this kind of preaching. Uh, they, they, they search, they search, uh, uh, Tasha, for spiritual loopholes as if they some kind of holy attorney. But 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 let me let me let me save you some hours and some time. Let me save you some research time. There are no loopholes. There are no loop. It means what it says, and it says what it means. Brother Tiny, uh, uh, we sometimes we get so busy chasing uh, the King James rabbits that we miss the point of a certain passage or a certain text. Uh, Sister Mixon, for example, we grab on to ideas and we grab on to stories that sound good to our ears. Uh, Sister Regina, and we'll, 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 we'll make them into uh, milestones and monuments out of taking them all out of context. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Out of interpretation and out of biblical ignorance. Y'all don't like this kind of preaching. Okay, you look like you doubt me. Let me see. Maybe, maybe I can give you some examples. Haven't you heard people try to exhort you or exhort, exhort us and say, uh, look, the Bible says wherever two or three <laughs> are gathered in his name that the Lord promises to be in the midst. You've heard that, right? The Bible does say that. However, Brother Reuben, when you read the context, which simply means the entire portion of the scripture, you'll find out that the Lord, Reverend Evans, was not talking about laying on of no hands. The Lord was not talking about name it and claim it, grab it and blab it, but rather he was really talking about relationships. Y'all ain't with me. Uh, uh, Sabrina, when you read Matthew 18, you will discover that verses 15 through 20 have everything to do with restoring broken fellowship. And the Lord says, uh, Brother Jack, that if a brother trespasses, if a sister trespasses against you, the Bible says, Monica, you go to them and tell them they fall. Now, the Bible did not say go to them with a bad attitude and cussing them out and hollering and screaming. Uh, 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 <coughs> but the Bible says go to them and tell them the fault between the two of you. The same Bible says, Bible readers, if they won't hear you, go get one or two witnesses. Ah, Brother Cyrus, and then... If there's no reconciliation, the Bible says, take them before the church. Y'all ain't in here. But the beauty of the text is that if there uh, is restoration of fellowship, Keith, uh, he promises to bind the fellowship in heaven as you bind the fellowship on earth. And if the, and if the fellowship... Uh, then bring spiritual empowerment. Uh, that's what it's all about. Are y'all in here? And so, uh, Sister Irving, when we look at the scriptures, it, it's easy to get caught up in the glare and the glamour or the artistry of the scripture. Are y'all in here? Uh, what do you mean, Reverend? Well, uh, uh, sometimes we get caught up in the glamour of what he's saying and we miss completely what God is really saying. Y'all don't like this kind of preaching. That brings me to the text. Remember, as I always tell you, there's a context to the, to the text that you're reading. In other words, in this particular conversation, there's a context to this conversation. James, uh, uh, the Bible says James is the half-brother of Jesus. Uh, he's trying in this text to emphasize the importance of faith and work. Uh, 
So, so see, he, he has already told us that faith is fractured with our work. Are y'all in here? Uh, he tells us that faith is underserved with our work. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh, that faith is handicapped without work. Uh, faith is tied down instead of running. Are y'all in here? Sister Williams, there are three points uh, uh, that I want to raise today in what my seminary teacher used to call this anti-parable. Y'all ain't in here. Uh, this story is not about benevolence. No, no. This story is not about our obligation to feed the hungry, although we should. This story is not about how to uh, help the homeless, although we should. Uh, this story is not, Yanika, about starting a ministry to put clothes on those without clothes, although we should. First of all, let me point out to you, faith can be incomplete. Faith, Sister Gentry, can be incomplete. Secondly, faith can be malnourished. And thirdly, faith can be ill-advised. Y'all ain't with me today. Faith can be incomplete. Faith can be malnourished. And faith can be ill-advised. Uh, first of all, the writer of the text says that in context, he draws a scenario. Uh, and, and I already told you that James is related to Jesus because when Jesus told parables, he created lavish scenarios. And that's what I like, Sister Kelly, about some of the parables of Jesus. He, he made them lavish, and it was, it was a big deal. In other words, uh, he uses words, and, I, and I, I like to look at these kind of words, but he would say things, Reverend Matting, like, the kingdom of heaven is like, y'all ain't with me. So Jesus, Jesus, in my imagination, uh, Sister Hall, he would draw elaborate pictures uh, of a boy who leaves the comfort of his father's home and goes into a city. Y'all ain't with me. Uh, he would draw elaborate pictures, Deacon Irving, like a man who is suffering in hell, who wishes uh, that all he could do uh, is get an opportunity to dip his fingers in some cool water. I wish there were some Bible readers here. Uh, uh, but now in the text today, Brother Archie, in this text, uh, he says, James says uh, that those who have faith without work is like a brother or a sister who is naked. You just read it. It's in your Bible unless you tear it out. Uh, 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 faith without work is like a person with no clothes. Uh, uh, not does it, it doesn't really mean uh, lacking a shirt or shoes. But it means, in this particular usage, someone who is absolutely and completely lacking of clothing. They are totally naked. Are y'all with me? Uh, Sister Swayze, here's what he suggests. Uh, you may have faith, uh, which is like having a mind, but if you don't have work, it's like a genius mind, but people ignore that because you shock them because you don't have no clothes on. I wish y'all could hear me today. Uh, Sister Wicker, uh, 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 don't you know people who have great minds, but something has distracted them from their witness sometimes? Uh, they once, I know people like this, they knew the scripture, but they had a bad attitude. Okay, they're not here today. Tell them I said it. They, 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 they knew how to sing, but they could cuss you out in the parking lot. I ain't getting no help today. They knew how to pray, but they didn't pray for you. They prayed on you. Y'all ain't with me. They knew how to pray, but they didn't pray for you. Y'all ain't with me. Uh, yeah, somebody said last Sunday, Pastor, when you was at St. John, you was bowling down my alley. Well, I came to bowl again today. <laughs> Uh, 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 they knew how to preach, but they didn't know how to speak to you when they saw you. Uh, 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 they knew how to shout all over the church, but they never went to Bible study. Uh-oh, okay, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Uh, uh, they knew how to make suggestions, uh, but they never gave a dime. Y'all ain't in here today. They knew how to tell you what to do, but never did nothing they self. Brother Al James says uh, 
that you are not complete. And so if I'm talking to you today, I came to tell you, you, my brother, you, my sister, you are incomplete. I mean, haven't you noticed that when you work for the Lord, uh, Sister Dolores, sometimes it involves uh, some preparation and that I've discovered that he specializes in using prepared people. What do you mean? Well, uh, Bernice, uh, okay, y'all look like you doubt me. So uh, he prepares Abraham at knife point. He prepares Moses in a desert. Y'all ain't with me. He prepares David while David is on the run. Uh, he prepares Paul uh, during a period where he was blind and couldn't see. Uh, he prepares Naomi while she was in the midst of a famine. Uh, in other words, God wants us, you and I, that's up in here, up in here, up in here, to be complete. What do you mean? Well, Brother Hamilton, he wants us fully clothed, not just faith, but dressed in work. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Not just faith, but dressed in prayer. I wish y'all could hear me today. Not just faith, but dressed in praise, dressed in worship. Not just faith, but dressed in the word. Not just faith, but dressed in commitment. I wish I could hear, get y'all to hear me today. Uh, uh, he wants us to have more than just faith. Uh, uh, not just faith, but dressed in the study of his holy word. Not just faith, but dressed in evangelism. Not just faith, Sister Juanita, but dressed in fellowship. Y'all ain't with me. Uh, and so secondly, he says that Without faith, uh, uh, faith that is without works is malnourished. What do you mean, Brother Preacher? Well, he says destitute of daily food. Uh, I looked it up the other day, and the translation in the Greek means that there's a lack of daily meat. I wish y'all could hear me today. Because there was no refrigeration in that day. <laughs> Uh, meat, y'all, was procured daily. Meat was purchased every day, and that meat for the day was essential for their welfare every day. Are y'all with me? Uh, what do you mean? Well, uh, he talks about destitute of daily food. When I read this text this week, Sister Jones, I noticed where he drew a picture. Uh, not only is the person of faith who has no work uh, 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 not only do they look out of place walking around naked with no clothes, but they are poor looking, they're skinny, they have no physique. So what do you mean, preacher? Well, when the believer is not fed, not only do you uh, not have any work, but you don't have the energy to do the work for the Lord. Why not? Because you are destitute. You're lacking. You're malnourished. And so, uh, Sister Lee, have you ever wondered why some folk never do anything uh, for the Lord, but do things for everybody else? Everything they do is for somebody else, but they do nothing for the kingdom of God. Okay, y'all don't like this kind of preaching. There are people, there are people who only show up to church on Sunday, go to meetings. They only show up when it's time to dress up, sit up, prop up, and walk in church. That's all they're interested in. I know they're not here today, uh, but have you ever wondered why some folk never follow through on promises that they make, and then when you uh, see them, they make up lies and excuses? They're, they're starving. Y'all don't like this kind of preaching. You ever wonder why some people <laughs> uh, know every horse that ran on the track, <laughs> but they can't remember what day Jesus died and the circumstances of his death? Uh, uh, they're starving. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You ever wonder why some people can go, go to the movies and go to the opera and go to the show in Vegas and go to the concert and, and, and never complain 
about a hundred and fifty dollar ticket to see Beyonce and Usher and this one and that one, but they complain about giving God. I'll preach next Sunday. Y'all come back next Sunday. I ain't gonna preach today. Uh, 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 but how dare you, Mr. Pastor, stand and say the church needs a special offering. I just gave at the nail shop yesterday. Every now and then. Every now and then. <laughs> I'll go to the nail shop. And it never ceases to amaze me because, Sister Hart, I don't have a particular one. I just pull up to anyone. They all do the same thing. And when I go in, I don't care who does what. I, just somebody get me quick right now. Y'all know how they do. They bring you a menu or whatever they call it, the price list. It always amazes me that it starts off at $30. But by the time I leave, oh, I'm by myself. How did it go from 30? I chose the $30 one. I don't need you to rub my calf and put grease on my leg. That ain't what I came here for. It never ceases to amaze me. I pick out the $30 one, Susie, but when I leave, it's $75. Oh, come on, you should get this one. You should get this one. This one's better. This one's better. You should do that. They don't know if I got $75. I asked for the $30 plan. But when I get to the register, I swipe my card, Sister Brown, or I show my phone, whatever I got to do, but I pay what they ask. But I forgot about the tip. And then they charge a fee for using the credit card. Okay, I'm by myself. Some of y'all was just there yesterday. And I dare not ask you how much they got you for yesterday. But just a few minutes ago, we had offering. And I dare not ask you. I could ask those on our finance team after church, Tell me how many $1 bills y'all got. But the nail shop, y'all ain't in here. <laughs> Let me get back to the text because I don't want to make nobody mad. <laughs> but faith without work is not faith, y'all. The principle here is that the further you get away from the word of God, the more hungry you become. You're starving. Uh, if you raise your kids uh, by TV and iPads rather than by the Word of God, they'll be starving. If your marriage is based on the universe or the Zen <laughs> rather than the Word of God, you'll be starving. If our church is based on bylaws and Robert's rules of order, I promise you we will starve. Uh, if, 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 if the meeting of the busy bee circle is more important than the Sunday morning message, you're going to starve. Y'all ain't in here. Uh, uh, yeah, if your organization is more important than the word, you will starve. Uh, the Eastern Star meeting, you don't miss. You don't miss the Mason meeting, but you don't come to the women's meeting. I knew I was going to get to it. I just didn't know when. Uh, but I want the word, y'all, to be my primary concern. I want to get fat, y'all ain't saying nothing, from the word of God. And I got to close, y'all, because it's 1225 and we got to get out of here because y'all don't like this kind of preaching. But lastly... The writer insinuates that there is a bigger problem. The person, y'all, who lacks work and has faith only, he says, is naked and they're hungry. But guess what I discovered? They also go to the wrong place for help. Sister Ruby noticed uh, that when he draws the picture, he says, 
that this kind of man or woman hears the word, but they depart in peace, being warmed and filled. Uh, they just heard the word. Uh, Sister Gaddy's today is Sunday, and I double dog dare you to come Tuesday and ask half of the people in here, what did pastor preach about on Sunday? You heard the word. You left feeling good. <laughs> you left in peace and filled with the presence of the Holy Ghost. But how much do you remember that the preacher said? Notice there's not an offer to correct the problem of nakedness uh, rather than to receive clothing, but they receive a song and a dance. Uh, I don't know what y'all come to do, but y'all know I love a good church dance. <laughs> uh, rather than Brother Will to, to receive food, they receive uh, some nice words. Uh, rather than receive a coat there, uh, they receive an old-fashioned, God bless you real good. But the writer says that this person, y'all, has gone to the wrong place at the wrong time. In other words, the need was there, but the, the person who could have ministered to the need was not really willing to put in the work. Uh, this is a warning, y'all, to the whole church today. We need to be careful where we go for help. Uh, you need to be careful who you ask uh, to help you when you're down and out. Uh, I kind of feel like preaching. <laughs> it, 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 it was once said that no counsel is better than bad counsel. Uh, I believe that no advice is better than bad advice. Uh, so where can we go for good advice when we're down? Where can we go when we have a need in our life? Uh, uh, well, Tisha James says that faith without work, y'all, uh, is all by itself. Uh, your faith is left all alone. Matter of fact, y'all, uh, 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 you, you may not realize it, but your faith just might be dead faith. And I already told you that a dead faith is worse than no faith. So let me ask you, where is your faith? Do you have faith in your doctor's report? Some of y'all got faith in the counselor and the therapist, and you got faith in the surgeon's knife. You even got faith in the preacher. But let me me suggest to you uh, put your faith in God Almighty. Is there anybody here? Uh, what shall I do, brother pastor? Uh, I, do I have to leave church today naked and hungry like I was when I got there? No, no, no. But let me suggest to you uh, that God, he specializes in doing things that seem impossible. Is there anybody here that want to help me live Jesus? Where can I go when my faith gets weak? Where shall I go? When my back is against the wall, I can go, I can go to the rock that's higher than I. I can go 
to the rock that's higher than I. Is there anybody here that says the Lord is my shepherd? I, I shall not want. Where are you going when your faith gets weak? When my faith gets weak, when I can't see the day because the dark is so heavy, I, I'm going to the rock. I'm going to the joy of my salvation. I'm going to the one that's able to keep me from falling. I, I won't go to the doctor, but I'm going to the doctor that's never lost a patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I don't believe the horoscopes. I need the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, my high tower. Are y'all in here? I don't believe in wives' tales, but I need the word of God. I have not seen ears have not heard the good things that the Lord that the Lord has in store yeah say yeah if you know that he's alright I don't know how you feel about it but I'm going to the rock I'm looking to the hills from which cometh all of my help. Somebody said, all of my help comes from the Lord. All of my needs, he will supply. All of my help <laughs> comes from the Lord. All of my help. Is that your testimony today? All of my help. <laughs> we stand all over the building. All of my help. All of my help comes from the Lord. All of my help. If you're here today and you don't have a church home, this is an opportunity for you to get it right. All of my needs. All of my help. All of my help. If you're here today and you don't have a church home, All say amen for this brother and his wife, this young man. All of my help. Who else will follow these? He has met All my needs. And he's never Is there another? Me give me your hand, but give God your heart. All of my help. Is there another who will follow this brother, this sister, this other young man? All of my help. Is there another? Maybe you're here today and you say, Preacher, I'm saved. I love the Lord. But I drifted away from my church. I don't have a church home. I'm out of the ark of safety. How many know he will supply your needs? All of my needs. <laughs> he has met. And I don't know about you, but he never failed me yet. Is there another today? Is there somebody else today? Don't put it off because tomorrow is not promised to you. 
I wouldn't leave here and go home the same way I came. Is there one today who will step out in the aisle and give me your hand? But give God your heart. It's not about joining church. It's about a relationship with Jesus Christ. Is there another today? All of my needs, he will supply. He's met every one of my needs. And he never failed me yet. A charge to keep I have. Y'all don't know nothing about that. A God. <laughs> I'm just old fashioned. I'm sorry. This <laughs> Is there another who will give me your hand but give God your heart? To keep I have a God to glorify. Dying soul, never dying soul to save the city. It for the sky. All of my help, all of my help, all of my help. If you're here today and you've never been baptized, you've never accepted help, Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Say amen for our sister who comes. God bless you, my sister. Is there another? God bless you, my sister. Don't put it off because tomorrow is not promised. It's not about church membership. It's about relationship. It's about discipleship. Is there another today before I close? Is there another today? If you don't have a church home, if you don't have a church home, you don't have a pastor, you don't have a church family, this is an opportunity for you. You don't have to join this church. It's not about joining Bethel. We will send you to the church of your choice. There's a lot of good churches. You don't have to join this church. It's not about church membership. It's about discipleship. Is there another today before I close? God bless you. Help come from <laughs> all of my feet. How good the Lord really is. Praise God. Come on, give it up for these who have come. Praise God for adding to the church. How good the Lord really is. We are ready for Sister Kelly to come. She has a special announcement. Uh, maybe her or Reverend Evans, if they want to come. And then after we go off radio, when we go off air, we will ask Sister Smith and Sister Hall to tell us who we have, how good the Lord really is. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. amen. To all of our worshipers, we want to thank you for being with us in person and virtually today. This morning, Pastor Gilmore spoke from James chapter 2, the 16th, the 17th verse, and the 26th verse. Verbal faith, not enough. Our prayer is that you've been blessed by our service today. Stay close to us as we stay close to you. And please visit our Facebook page for further worship opportunities or visit our BCC app. Search for Bethel Community Church in the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. Please join us for our conference call chat with Pastor G on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Also on the first and third Wednesday of the month from 9 to 10.30, BCC host a food giveaway. Faith Over Fear meets on the first and third Thursdays of the month. Sunday school is available for children, youth, and adults. Sunday school starts at 10 a.m. and there is a call-in for those who cannot attend in person. Building network relationships through business. 
This is a mixer event. Join us for an empowering evening packed with knowledge, connections, and exclusive opportunities on Saturday, July 28th, starting at 5 p.m. at the Hilton Doubletree Hotel in Pleasanton, California. Expand your network and elevate your success. 10% of the proceeds from the ticket sales will be donated to the LLAR Scholarship Fund. Please see Brother Powell for more information and to purchase tickets. Friendship, Vallejo, and Bethel Community Church joint revival on Thursday, August 17th at Friendship Baptist Church in Vallejo and on Friday, August 18th here at Bethel Community Church. Both nights, the service starts at 7 p.m. Again, on Thursday, August 17th at Friendship in Vallejo and on Friday, August 18th here at BCC. The guest speaker is Reverend Terry Mackey from Pilgrim Rest Baptist Church in Phoenix, Arizona. The LLAR Memorial Scholarship Fund is hosting a pancake breakfast on Saturday, September 9th from 8 to 10 a.m. This is at the Applebee's here in Fairfield. The tickets are $10. Again, that's Saturday, September 9th from 8 to 10. The tickets are $10. Please see Brother Donnie, Sister Kathy, Sister Kyla, or Sister Darina for tickets. We are also seeking 10 to 12 volunteers to serve as servers on that day. If you're interested in serving the breakfast on that Saturday, please see me if you would like to volunteer for that. For your friends and family who do not have Facebook, please tell them this service will be hosted to our official YouTube channel. Simply search for Bethel Community Church or Fairfield and subscribe to our channel. Blessing from the church house to your house. On behalf of our entire church, we welcome you to always worship at the Five Star Church, Bethel Community Church of Fairfield. Stay prayerful, stay in the word, and stay safe. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Kelly. Before we log off, let me say to all of our friends and our supporters who support us from around the country and around the Bay, thank you for your ongoing support. Thank you for watching so faithfully every week. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for supporting the Bethel Community Church. Before we log off, let me mention, as Sister Kelly mentioned, let me reiterate, we will have a revival here. Everybody say August 18th. August 18th, the revival will be right here in this sanctuary. Reverend Terry Mackey from Phoenix, Arizona will be here. You don't want to go to heaven until you hear Pastor Mackey. Church family, on the 17th of August, that Thursday night, I'm asking all of us to meet us at Friendship Baptist Church of Vallejo. Friendship Baptist Church of Vallejo, where Pastor Justin Lester serves. It's a two-day revival, and it'll be in Vallejo Thursday night, Fairfield on Friday night. Don't let us down, church family. I need you to meet us in Vallejo on the 17th. Then on the 18th, we will be right here to close it out. And you're talking about one of God's best preachers. Don't leave here without hearing Pastor Mackey. So I'm asking your church family for your support. Looking forward to you all being with us. To all of our friends, we're logging off. God bless you. Peace of God be with you till we 